Hey guys, so uh, as promised, here's my guide to how to study. A lot of great links down in the video description, but if you're too lazy to go through all those links, that's what this video is for. Uh, before we begin, uh, there's just two things I wanted to point out. The first one is that it's all about studying smart, not hard. A lot of people come and ask me how many hours I study per day, and that's totally the wrong question to ask, because it's, studying is all about how much you get out of it, not how much you put into it. So you can study one hour really well, studying smart, and you'll get a lot more than studying for six hours the wrong way. Second thing I also want to point out is that there is no right way of studying. It's all about what works best for you. And that's why year seven, eight, and nine are so important, because you get to experiment to see what works best for you. Things like time, do you study better in the morning or in the afternoon or at night? Things like location, where do you study best? Do you like to study with music or without music? Do you have, uh, like having many different subjects per day to mix it up or the same subject ev uh, or just one subject every single day? That's what you should be working out to see what, what works best for you. Having said that, there are still some things that you should bear in mind, tips and tricks that would work well for everyone. And that's what I'm going to move on to now. So seven tips about how to study. Tip number one is the Pomodoro technique, which we talked about before. Basically, it means you're working really hard for a certain amount of time, followed by giving, then giving yourself a break. Uh, experiment with different lengths of time. So it's classically 25 minutes work to five minutes break. But I personally in, like working, with, working for one hour, followed by a 20 minute break, because I want the longer breaks. But see what works best for you. You might want to choose different lengths of time for different subjects depending on how well or how much you enjoy them. Uh, a couple of quick hints and about this uh, technique. Uh, first thing is that you should uh, keep a post-it note handy so that uh, those distractions that come up, things that you remember that you have to do during your study time, you can write them down on your post-it note and sort them out once you get to your break instead of breaking, breaking up your study time. So it means that your 25 minutes are actually 25 minutes of work. Second thing, even during your study time, do give yourself small rewards. So like have a bar of chocolates or a pack of gummy bears. And every time you finish a question or a chapter or, or like a section, give yourself one of these, even though it's not your break, but just give yourself small rewards. Last thing about breaks is to make sure that you actually really enjoy them. Don't go on WhatsApp or Facebook because that's not that much fun and you won't have, you won't feel that you've had a, pro a proper break. So have a 10 minute or 20 minute task ready that you really really enjoy so like a sitcom uh, that's 20 minutes long or uh, guys fifa works really well for this so set half length to four minutes and play one match so you'll have a really fun break but you'll also make sure that you don't overdo your break and it's not too long tip number two is common study mistakes things that you should avoid because they're not helpful at all and a complete waste of time so the first one is reading a lot of people study by just reading through the textbook over and over again, but that doesn't help you remember anything at all, so it's a complete waste of time. Reading alone isn't study. The second thing is highlighters. The thing, was, the thing with highlighters is that they make you feel like you're actually doing a lot of work and you end up with pretty colored notes and your parents come and pat you on the back for working so hard, but actually you haven't remembered anything because the only part of you that's been working is your hand, but your brain hasn't actually been storing that stuff into your memory. So don't highlight, use active recall, which is the next tip. So tip number three is active recall. Like we've said, the reading and highlighting alone don't help you remember anything at all. So the thing that you really should do after studying a page is to close the book or close your notes and try re repeating that page from memory. Uh, the most important thing is that you don't cheat. You have to close your book, not try and repeat it with the book in front of you because otherwise you're just recognizing it and not remembering it and that's a big difference. Uh, when repeating it, uh, try writing it down or saying it out loud instead of just repeating it in your head. The more senses you use while studying, the more likely you are to remember that. If it's more of a concept or something a bit more complicated instead of a list of facts or numbers, try explaining it to someone else or if no, one, if, if no one's there, just explain it to your wall, however insane that sounds. Because if you can explain something, it's very likely that you're going to remember it. And it also means that you understand it really well. The other thing is that you really should test yourself a lot 
use the practice questions in your textbook go ask your teachers for practice questions because it's really important that you do a lot of practice especially as you get into year 9 and 10 tip number four is to make good notes so the most important thing here is that these are notes and not rewrites so you shouldn't be copying out every single word in the textbook you should actually be summarizing it and putting it into your own words try making it as concise and clear as possible so make your notes neat keep them clutter free so they only have the stuff that you actually need to remember because that makes it much much easier to study and means studying takes a lot less time because textbooks have a lot of information that help you understand it but that you don't really need to know so that so if you study straight from the textbook it's going to take a lot more time and effort to study so that's why notes are really important try and keep them consistent so if you're going to use for example red for keywords and yellow for definitions things like that keep that color co color scheme consistent because it helps you remember things better your final notes should uh, include everything from your should summarize your class notes your teachers handouts uh, your textbook all of that into one source so that you only need to study from one source because that that's a lot easier for you and helps you remember stuff better once again um, and the, the other thing is even if you do want to type up your notes and write them up on the computer don't study from a screen study from printed paper research has shown that you read faster and remember better if you're studying from printed paper instead of uh, off a tablet or a laptop so if even if you do type up your notes make sure you print them out before you study from them tip number five is a group of memory hacks that I use to help me remember stuff the first one is to latch on to any hooks you can find in a certain word to help you remember it so uh, for example in biology an afferent neuron is one that is going towards the brain and an efferent neuron is one that's going away from the brain as you can tell these are two really horrible words that are hard to tell apart so the way I tell them apart is uh, efferent begins with an E which is the same letter for exit so E for exit so efferent is going away from the brain that's how I remember it another two words that are hard to tell apart are catabolism and anabolism catabolism are actions that break down stuff in your body anabolism are actions that build up stuff in your body the way I remember it is that catabolism begins with cut so cutting is breaking things apart that's how I remember it so it's things like that look for any hooks parts of the word that uh, you can link it to something that's easier to remember that can also be the number of syllables in a word the number of letters in a word uh, the letter it starts with anything just latch on to any hook you can find the second thing that really helps you in remembering this works for lists of things uh, are acronyms so uh, you might have all heard of Roy G Biv uh, which uh, tells you the, uh, the order of the colors of the rainbow even though as a word it doesn't really make a lot of sense it's much easier to, rem than, uh, to remember than red orange yellow green and so on so when you've got a list of stuff, if you can try using the first letter, the last letter, whichever is easier for you to make up a short word that's, uh, that's easier to remember. Uh, another tip that everyone keeps talking about uh, are things like mnemonics. Uh, so, uh, eat all day, get big easy, the strings on a guitar for any of you guitarists out there. I personally am not a big fan of mnemonics because I find them more harder to remember or to make up than actually learning the words but also use them uh, there are simple ones out there google it you find it they're much easier to remember than lists in some cases uh, the, other, the last thing if you want to really remember something is to test yourself on it at random times so for example while you're in the shower while you're on the bus to school things like that if you keep testing yourself to uh, recite a list from memory at random times you're a lot more likely to remember tip number six is the study environment you're working in so uh, for, uh, there's a there's a couple of points to talk about here so first thing is uh, if there's a subject you're really struggling with I'd recommend changing the location you're studying in so if you're for example if you're studying on your desk and then you're really really struggling with math try doing math in the dining hall or in the kitchen or somewhere else you find it a lot easier to study in a new location uh, second thing is uh, turn off distractions while you're studying so put your phone on flight mode uh, there are apps that work uh, 
that you can install on your laptop so it would block Facebook block YouTube block things like that so that you're not distracted while you're studying it might seem like an extreme measure but it's worth it because it means you're studying more efficiently so in the long run you'll actually have more time for the things that are distracting you because you finish your stuff quicker more easily and better the other thing is music uh, so uh, if you do try try working with music it helps filter out the background noise and makes studying a lot more enjoyable but uh, it's not for everyone so if it distracts you then certainly turn it off like I said study your way uh, but if you do use music keep it lyric free because if you if it's a song you know and you're singing along to the lyrics it can be very distracting and keep it quiet basically if you can hum or dance along to the song then you're not you're not studying properly it should be in the background so uh, classical music works really well for this and even if you're not a fan of classical try googling something like uh, two steps from hell or video game video game soundtracks they're great instrumental music and they're not that boring but at the same time they're not that distracting uh, another thing is that before you actually sit down to study you should have everything you're going to need laid out in front of you so make sure you've got any pens or paper or books that you need so that you don't need to get out off your desk to go and find something because that breaks your rhythm breaks your constant uh, breaks your focus so uh, before you begin make sure you're ready uh, last thing I want to talk about before I end this video is uh, exam night and the night before the exam and the day of the exam. On the night before the exam, try keeping st your studying to a minimum. So don't try studying anything new. Just uh, go through uh, your summaries, your flashcards. If there's a certain list that you always find hard to remember, go through that. Focus on the stuff that you know you're bad at you, uh, and you just want a quick refresh of. But don't do any... Don't do a lot of studying on the night before, just relax, maybe watch a movie or a show to make sure you're cal calm before the exam. On the day of the exam, don't do any studying at all. Uh, that, last five, uh, that last five minutes before you go into that exam room are not that useful for revision. They're not quality time for revision. That uh, time when everyone's asking questions and everyone's really nervous, just get away from that. Just calm down, talk about something that's not to do with the subject. Don't try doing any any revision right before you go into the exam because it just makes you a lot more nervous. And uh, the last thing about exam day, listen to good music before you go into that exam hall, something that motivates you. I've got uh, a list down in the description again below. Uh, listen to something that motivates you, that uh, makes you happy and excited <laughs> because it really takes away all your nerves. That's all. Uh, for my study tips, I hope uh, I hope you do really well Year 7 Red, good luck and uh, any questions feel free to ask below in the comments and check out the links in the description.